A historic day on Capitol Hill as the Democrat-led House held its first public impeachment inquiry hearing against President Trump. Thank you for joining us. I'm Melanie Christopher. And I'm Walt Grayson. A historic day and a long day as well. Nicole Killian shows us some of the most defining moments. Nothing but the truth. So help Two career God. diplomats testified about President Trump's actions with Ukraine as the impeachment inquiry played out before the cameras. I'm not here to take one side or the other or to advocate any particular outcomes. Bill Taylor, the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, said it was his understanding President Trump froze military assistance to Ukraine to pressure the country's new leader to launch politically motivated investigations. Taylor revealed new information about a phone call his staffer overheard between President Trump and ambassador to the EU, Gordon Sondland. Following the call with President Trump, the member of my staff asked Ambassador Sondland what President Trump thought about Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland responded that President Trump cares more about the investigations of Biden. Democrats, led by House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff, said the goal of the inquiry is to see if President Trump's actions amount to an abuse of power. Is this what Americans should now expect from their president? If this is not impeachable conduct, what is? But Republicans called the hearing a theatrical performance by Democrats. This is a carefully orchestrated media smear campaign. They challenged Taylor's testimony, saying Ukraine never felt pressured. Your clear understanding was obviously wrong because it didn't happen. President Zelensky didn't announce he was going to investigate Burisma or the Bidens. During the hearing, President Trump mounted a vigorous defense from the White House and dismissed the proceedings. I'm too busy to watch it. It's a witch hunt. It's a hoax. The other witness, diplomat George Kent, testified about the involvement of Rudy Giuliani, President Trump's personal attorney. It became clear to me that Giuliani's efforts to gin up politically motivated investigations were now infecting U.S. engagement with Ukraine. Mr. Kent accused Giuliani of spreading lies about former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Ivanovich, to get her removed from her post. She is scheduled to testify Friday. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Yeah, the hearings are expected to eventually shift to the Judiciary Committee to consider actual articles of impeachment. And strong words from Congressman Michael Guest about today's hearing. He took to Twitter saying, quote, instead of wasting America's, uh, American people's time on this partisan impeachment process, we should be working to address some of the most pressing issues facing our nation, unquote. This is the first time we have seen the impeachment proceedings in public view, but will this change the minds of Mississippians? Our political correspondent, Gerald Harris, joins us in the studio with a bit of insight. Gerald? Yeah, Melanie, all but one congressional delegate from Mississippi supports this impeachment inquiry. And as President Donald Trump see his overwhelming approval ratings in Mississippi unfazed, very few people are likely to defect here in the Magnolia State. We talk with an expert, and coming up at 5, we ask what the impeachment proceedings will mean for Mississippi voters. Now, today was just round one. Several more hearings are expected to come. Walt?